Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to mirror screen with audio from Android smartphone or tablet to Windows, Mac and Linux computers. So without any further delay, let's begin. So firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google just search for one application name as Screepy. So you can see the spelling as C-R-C-P-Y and on the first list you will see the developer website. Just click on it. Now you can see here on the right side, Screepy. Just click on it. Just scroll down below. And now you can see here a download options that is a Screepy Win32. So if you're using a Windows 32 bit operating system, then you can download this 32 bit. But if you're using a Windows 64 bit, you can use either 32 or 64 bit. So download any one of this. So depending upon your which Windows bit you are using, that is a 32 or 64 bit. If you're using a 64, then you can download either one of this. So download firstly this Screepy zip files. Then after that, just once again go to the Google search and just search for one more application name as SandCP. And on the first list, you will see the developer website. Just click on it. And on the right side, you can see your send CP. Just click on it. Just scroll down below. And here you can see a send CP.jib and send CP with ADP Windows.jib. So I will highly recommend you to download this one. That is the send CP with ADP Windows.jib. So kindly download this firstly. And let me go back and let me show you one more thing here you can see here you need one more applications here the requirement is the android devices requires at least android 10 so if you're using an android 9 or lower than that then this tricks may not work for you or this application name is sensecp which is needed for the audio transferring so it may not work so if you have an android 10 or higher than android 10 then definitely this will gonna work and the second application you need is a BLC. So if you have not already installed a BLC media player on your Windows computer, then kindly go to the official website of BLC media player and just download this application too. So after that, just go to the folder where you have downloaded and start extracting the respective zip files and you will see this kind of folders for Scrippy and for Sensepi. So for going to further details about this part of this software now on your android smartphone what you need to do firstly is just go to the phone settings and after that just go to about phone and after that you can see here software information just tap on it now you can see here a build number just keep tapping until the developer mode option is turned on so you can see in my case it's being already turned on so just tap it if you have not turned on the developer mode options then after that just go back and you can see below just uh, below the about phone developer options now just scroll down below now you can see one option here usb debugging so in my case it's already being turned on so if you have not turned on this usb debugging then firstly turn on this usb debugging and after that, just connect your Android smartphone with the USB data cable with your respective Windows computer. Now, after connecting your Android smartphone with your respective computer using a USB data cable, now firstly open both the zip file or the folder which you have extracted. Now you can see here it's a folder with the sans CP and one is a folder with the scrapy, right? So in the sans CP folder, you can see one file sensecp.apk right so you need to transfer this file to your android smartphone firstly and install this sensecp.apk firstly on your android smartphone so i'm not going to show that part so you just transfer using a usb data cable to your android smartphone and just install on your respective android smartphone firstly so after that just you can see on the blank area just right click here and you can get an option here open in windows terminal so this option may not be available for your Windows 
7 or older version so if you're using a Windows 10 and 11 then you can get these options then you can just click on here and it will open a Windows terminal so by default it will open a Windows parcel right so you can see here down arrow just click on it and you can select either now you can select a command from here so I already selected this command from so if you're using a Windows 7 then you can just open a command from and you can just lock it to the folder we have saved your respective this file or the folder so to do this how you can select the folder part so for this you can just type say in my case it's in the D drive right so what I will do I'll just change the drive so I have changed the drive I'll just clear the screen so that you can see clearly right so it's in the D drive now just copy this folder part just copy it now to select this folder part just type CD space and just paste it and hit enter now this folder part will be directly shown to you here or the selected now you can use the same command as we are going to use with the Windows terminal so here I'm not going to use directly this command from I will be going to use the Windows terminal where I'll be using a command from using Windows terminal so if you're using a Windows 7 then you can try this tricks and if you're using a Windows 10 then it's much easier just on the blank area of the respective folders just click on it and just click on open in Windows terminal and just select this command from and now your location is already selected now just type a command as and dcpy send cp and hit enter wait for a few seconds so finally you can see here it's showing playing audio that means our first task is completed now you can play your smartphone audio to your windows computer or linux or mac computers so you can minimize it now we'll just minimize the folder now the next task we'll want to mirror our screen right so just open the scrapey folder and just right click do the same thing if you're using a windows 10 and just open in windows terminal and just click on this down arrow and just select this command from and just select this command from if you have not selected and now here again you need to type one common name as scrcpy scrapey and hit enter now it will display your phone screen that is it will start mirroring so let us minimize all this now let us try to play any games or any audios like having an audio whether it is directly playing on our computer or not that is the uh, audio from your Android smartphone is transport to your Windows computer or Mac or Linux computers or not so let us test it so let me open one game here just let me open one game say class of clans right So I think you have heard the smartphone sounds on the computer again. So let me just enlarge this. Now just let me click on something. So definitely you can hear the smartphone sounds on your computer. Now using any sound recorder on your respective computer, you can record the sound of your Android smartphones very easily. So this type of mirror screen with audio from Android smartphone or tablet to Windows, Mac and Linux computer is very useful if you are recording some games uh, that is a playing games recording or you are doing some tutorial videos and your audio should be transferred to your Windows, Mac or Linux computers then using this applications you can definitely do this kind of tricks so definitely a very good applications to mirror screen with audio from Android smartphone or tablet to Windows, Mac and Linux computer then you should definitely try it out for yourself. 
So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.